Uh, welcome once again to the YouTube channel of uh, Department of Urology, SMS Medical College, Jaipur. Uh, today is the second day of our mini PCNL workshop. Uh, we are really privileged to have with us uh, Dr. Kaushik Shah, who is the innovator of Super Nephroscope. And uh, we will have a demonstration of Super Nephroscope today once again. Uh, to, yesterday we had two cases uh, with the super nephroscope and uh, today also we might be having uh, two or three cases of uh, PCNL. So we would be starting uh, with a case uh, which has a large stone. Uh, it's almost a staghorn uh, stone. I will show you the x-ray in a minute and uh, in the meantime I can just show you the instruments here. Uh, we have this uh, sheets with dilators which uh, range from 12 to 24 and uh, this is uh, along with the sheet and then the other parts are uh, this is uh, would be called master. suction master so dr koshik is with us uh, can you yes dr koshik thank you Hello. for coming and uh, you can just tell us uh, exactly the parts of and in the meantime, uh, we will show you the x-ray. Uh, Dr. Sudeep, come in. Yes, come in. So, uh, so this is the x-ray of uh, this patient, uh, which uh, she is a little scoliotic, and uh, she has a staghorn stone um, in the left uh, kidney. And uh, if you can see the CT films also, just show the CT films. Uh, the upper calyx is dilated and the rest of the, all the calyces are filled with stones. Uh, show the dilated calyx here. This, uh, this is the dilated calyx here, right? Uh, the upper calyx. Uh, let's see this image, all right? Come here. So here you can see uh, the whole kidney is filled with stones almost, only the upper calyx uh, is uh, dilated. So let's see, uh, we are planning to go either to this upper calyx or uh, maybe the middle calyx that we will decide uh, on table on it. So uh, this is the case and here now Dr. Kaushik will tell you uh, about the instruments. Yes. So uh, yeah. show, show the instruments. Yeah. So there are, when we are, I'll first talk about the sheet. So there are different sizes, 12 French, 15, 18, 21 and 24. This is the sheet with a dilator. Now this sheet has a, the second part is a suction master and the fourth part is a connector. So there are different sizes of connector that shoots with the different size of the nephroscope. So when it is written M, it's, uh, it is for the mini puck size the instruments, when it is written L, it is for a, a, a scope between 80, 16 to 18 or something like this. And when it is written Axel, it is for 21 French nephroscope. Now this is the suction master which is common for all. In one of the designs, the suction master is fixed. You can see. It is affixed to the sheet. In another design, it is separate. So uh, let's consider that we are using 21 French. So over a guide road, you can insert then take out the dilator part and then attach a connector. Now after doing an aphroscopy confirming that the sheet and is in the PC system, you attach a connector. This connector is good for 16 French nephroscope. Now you attach a suction tube which is here. So this is the tube which is attached and it is going to the stone catcher bottle and from here the another suction tube is going to the suction machine. Now this is a 21 French sheet, give me 16, you see, uh, now the another is a super nephroscope. This is a nephroscope with a long length of 26 centimeter, it has a separate instrument channel and separate irrigation channel and the light source is at the tip. The image carrying camera is at the tip of the nephroscope as compared to the light source is outside in conventional nephroscope 
the camera head is outside here everything is inside the nephroscope and and you can use uh, any size suppose if you want to use a forcep uh, where is the pneumatic probe so this is the probe that is coming here it will always come at 6 o'clock position you can use a trap round forcep bi round forcep and this is all one one part this is not dismantable it is a fixed thing and from here instrument go from here the irrigation goes bring the pneumatic probe meet pneumatic probe pneumatic probe so the pneumatic probe of 1.8 mm also goes in here we have selected a stegon stone and in a stegon stone we will use 1.8 mm pneumatic probe and that will uh, break the stone very easily it is clear so this is an aproscope this is 13 point uh, 16 french this is 13.5 uh, French and another one more nephroscope which is 19 French. It is a 9 French. See, this is a thick probe. And again, it goes very easily inside and it breaks. Because there is a separate instrument channel, the lateral vibration of the pneumatic probe will not occur and very good force is transmitted to the stone to break the stone. Okay. The rest of the thing is the same. Thank you. Now, coming here. Now he is doing a puncture. Manual, manual. Ah, so manual, carry, carry, carry. Okay. Uh, yes. See. So uh, this is the image. Just show on the sea arm. Uh, this is the image, and what we are planning is, ki, uh, we have just uh, uh, done an aero uh, pilogram with the air and uh, just show the image of the CM. So here is some, this looks like a middle calyx uh, which is posterior and we might be going through this calyx uh, and let's see, okay, just, uh, can you just stop, hold, hold her and just show me, show me dear, Ankit. No, no, you can do it again, do it again, छोड़ के deflate 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 again वापस और पूरा but that's just hold on hold on hold on hold on हाँ 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 30, 30 please. Which is a good one. Dalia Salain Dali. Guide back, please.
Nice place, it's in here. If you see, the guide wires coil beautifully from the middle calyx into the upper calyx and, and rotating. So this is a perfect puncture and now he has made a hole. So we uh, have just gone through the middle calyx and the uh, guide wire, we have used a Teremo guide wire here. And uh, this is coiled in the upper calyx, we are uh, dilating it with a screw dilator, this is uh, a 10 inch. Okay, 12 inch. Okay. You have to dilate in a direction of the track. And this is what precisely is happening. So we have reached the stone. Yes. Alright. So what we plan to do is by 21. I think we will. We will do in between time. Right. So this uh, stone may require uh, maybe uh, two, three more punches. Uh, let's see uh, how much we can remove with this particular track. So, we are uh, dilating the track, we have dilated uh, well and this is 50. So, Now we are putting the 21 French dilator. So we have reached the right. So we need to put a safety guide wire. Is it through safety guide wire done? Safety guide wire is done. Is it done? Of course. Uh, you examine by the side of the stone. You take out the guide wire. Guide wire? Guide wire. You leave the guide wire. Okay. Take out the guide wire. Yeah. Yeah. Take out the guide wire. Okay. Okay. And you just push it. Or you just push it. Guide wire is done. You see, you see. So we have removed the obturator and now we would be putting uh, just the nephroscope and try to see uh, if we are inside. Yes. So this is the nephroscope that we have chosen here. Uh, this is 16, right? Uh, this is the irrigation channel, we have uh, put it here and this is a chip on tip device. Uh, there is a chip for uh, light and there is a LED uh, light source for uh, uh, visualization. So when you connect it, uh, there is a very good uh, irrigating fluid which is uh, there. So we have connected here and now we will see whether we are in, right? We are going to see this 
Ah, we are able to see the one stone. Yeah. So one stone. Yeah, here it is. Ah, this will go here. So one stone is here. We will just take this stone out. Maybe this is one of the small stones that was there uh, with the forceps. We can remove that stone to the forceps. Just give me the forceps. Uh, ah, track is above, but we will remove this stone and then go to that track. Yes. Yes. Because this stone was lying in the periphery. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. Very good. Uh, suction laga hai? Okay. Start. Okay. Okay. It has gone, gone back. Uh, if you put the suction in. Uh, no. Suction on. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see whether it comes out. It has fallen. It has fallen. Good. Wonderful. Oh, so that's that's another trick. Uh, how you remove the stone, right? So now we will try to go inside uh, the track. Yes, yes. So now we are in, and we can see the biggest stone. Go back. Light to the come cassette thing. So here is the bigger stop. Put this, uh, yeah. This is a so that uh, the guide wire doesn't come in the way. This is only for Yeah. Fix the wood. Actually, once you confirm you want to take out the guide wire, that's the reason I say that okay. if you are using an alkene thinner, it's the best thing. Now, We are over the stone. Uh, just see the vision. Vision is perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will start fragment. We will start fragment. Pneumatic, please. Or you can give laser right now. Laser, laser. <laughs> Laser, let's see uh, with the laser. 550 fiber? 550 fiber. Ah, right. So we have a laser. Uh, just show the laser machine. This is from Jena, uh, a German made laser uh, that we have got uh, in our department uh, for demonstration. So let's start. Show me that. Yeah. Just come on, sir. Laser ka DJ ka? Switch? Ah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Aapka pair. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Yes. Come out. So just see the fragmentation. We are using 550 fiber. If you 
gone into the bottom. So this is the way we just uh, suck, out. suck out the stone and the stone goes into the bottom. experience with this so we thought that we will Let's see. so this is how the stone gets sucked in the bottle and you don't have to remove the scope completely ah, you don't have to remove it And the uh, slow, strong effect of the laser is not seen because all the fragments are completely sucked into it. And therefore, the lithography can become faster because the vision becomes immediately clear. Then you have to that. So, the suction. Suction, they go, yeah. Suction, they go. 
Uh, yes. With 32 watt energy, is there any chance of thermal injury to PCS? Yeah. See, uh, when you are using a laser energy, you have to see where you are breaking the, uh, delivering the energy, whether it is a pneumatic energy or a laser energy. And the laser energy, uh, uh, the depth of the energy is very limited, and particularly in a pelvis, it is less injurious. But if you are working in a ureter and hitting the energy with a laser, uh, then it might lead to a perforation there. So you have to be careful where you are hitting, and that is the reason there is a laser light. So you can come to know where the laser is going to be delivered. Uh, another thing is that when uh, in these nephroscope, the uh, uh, the probe is always coming at six o'clock. So you know where your laser is going, right? Can you uh, uh, how? Can you see it coming from six o'clock position only? So, so you know where it's going. If there are multiple fragments, just so if there are multiple fragments, it comes by the side of the nephroscope, and then sometimes you may find it difficult to draw. The assistant job is to see that the scope, is, the sheet do not come out. So this is uh, almost we have removed all these uh, fragments without uh, any forceps. This is just by suction. And the uh, laser fiber is coming from six o'clock to the center. So whatever the picture you are seeing in the center, it is there. So the precision of energy delivery is extremely high in this uh, nephroscope. There is no public of the nephroscope at all. He is very precisely touching the surface. He is using, uh, is taking the stone from the center rather than from the periphery. Can you see the precision? The fragment is gone. When that fragment is there, you just have to withdraw the nephroscope so that it comes out. The bigger stone fragment going by the side of the nephroscope might not allow the movement of the scope in the sheet. How we suck the stones out. So now all the small stones which are there, multiple have come out. So this way the liquid mixing becomes very fast, very efficient, and very safe. Because there is no rise in the pressure. There is a continuous negative pressure in the PC system. The fluid is actively sucked out. So whatever the infection material is there, so the stones are going into that. See, all the stone fragments have come collected inside yes, yes, without the use of the forceps. And the stone is coming see, see, how without the stone. Stone. stone immediately waits for the sheet to come in. Beautiful demonstration by sir. Towards the renal pelvis. 
So, uh, I so we have removed the one step. Yeah, the guide wire has been removed and uh, so that the stones come out easy. Uh, the safety barrier should never be in the 16, uh, it should be outside the sheet. Then the, the flow of the water, control of the suction, the fragment removal all becomes very easy. And then the fiber, uh, the lay, uh, guide wire would block the exit of the stone in the ship. Say we are trying to just uh, maybe pulverize the stone also and uh, those very very small pulverized uh, fragments would just be sucked in automatically and those small fragments they have to be just pulled out by suction. So this is how the whole uh, staghorn stone is being done uh, without uh, using the forceps at all. Why we are using a big nephroscope so that we can take out a very big fragments. Uh, here that need does not arise and therefore even the small scope can do well. Changing the position of your laser fiber uh, by slight movement of the nephroscope. Uh, and so the fragmentation strategy is equally important. That would make your job easy or difficult, depends on how you are breaking the stone. keep the laser fiber away from the mucosa so that uh, we cause least injury to the pelvic collision system as somebody had just asked uh, on the YouTube. So this is how you just remove those fragments, these come up and they go into the tube. But in one passage of scope, a lot of fragments come out. Do you have any questions? So, uh, residents, uh, do you have any questions if you want? Uh, Size of the 
also and this monitor has been connected with our own uh, uh, monitor so you can have both the images uh, you can work with the smaller monitor also which is uh, supplied with the nephros uh, this has an inbuilt recording system also as dr kaushik is saying and we can record the whole uh, procedure So this is how these all uh, fragments come in. Sir, there is a message on YouTube, sir. Yeah. Yes. What? Sir, by Uday Beniwal, uh, uh, Dr. Uday Beniwal. Yeah. Uh, Shivam, sir, you have been proponent of classical PCN, especially for large stone. So now, are you recommending this for Staghorn? Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Uday, for asking me that question. Uh, I think uh, the future for PCNL would be uh, definitely. Uh, if you if it's a staghorn stone we can do by this 18 and 21 french sto uh, uh, size uh, mini pc and uh, without removing those fragments just suctioning it uh, into the uh, our uh, bottle would be probably the best way to do a uh, staghorn stone so i i recommend this uh, i think this is better than uh, the standard pc nl which we do uh, by pneumatic lithotripsy and then uh, removing those fragments. Uh, can I answer this question? Uh, Dr. Yes. Koshik would be asking. Yes, 
the biggest uh, thing about why I am here is that he also thinks that why how can we reduce the track size and reduce the mobility of a stubborn PCNL and he realized that this is the day go where we can break the stones, we can take out the fragments very easily with a reduced mobility and India has a huge load and he has the responsibility to pick so many new ones. So the advocating a mini PCNL for a stubborn will go a long way in reducing the mobility of a huge population to whom he is committed to. That's the reason I was decided that how we can reduce the mobility and do the stagon. So when in the morning when we were discussing, he said that we'll take a small stone. I said, no, we we'll take a big stagon stone and we'll see how it is happening. And yeah. that's how we selected this case. So this is a kyphoscolytic patient with a stagon stone and this was the first case which we selected for our uh, this uh, second day of uh, PCNL workshop and I think we, uh, it is doing well and uh, so if, if we use uh, maybe pneumatic uh, we may be a little faster in fragmenting, but then uh, we may have to remove these uh, fragments. Uh, so what we are trying to demonstrate is how these fragments can be removed uh, without even removing the scope and putting any forceps. So all these stones, uh, we are just suctioning them out. demonstration purpose we are actually doing it with laser now though this large stone could have been uh, dealt with uh, This is again a very important thing. Uh, if you put this thing at 12 o'clock, then your orientation is better. So, because this nephroscope had moved, so the orientation was getting disturbed. Thank you. 
the setting uh, needs to be changed uh, yes, what is perfectly okay it's perfectly okay. Yeah, it perfectly okay we are fragmenting to a very good speed only thing that because the size is there uh, uh, we are so we have a hard stone uh, and that to uh, stack on so what we can do is uh, we can try with the pneumatic also maybe and just see. Okay, you want to try pneumatic? Also, yeah. So we will just for the ready. demonstration, we will just Give show that. Ready? ready? Ah. Pneumatic tire, is it? It's not So give it to us now. Spirit, spirit. पर आगे कैसे करो? छोड़ दें। कितना सेटिंग रखा है? कितना प्रेशर रखा है? वो थ्री पॉइंट एट कम कर दो। टू पे ले दो। वो टू पॉइंट कर दो। बहुत प्रेशर है। नहीं तो वो कैंसिल को फाड़ देगा। काम नहीं करते, काम करो। तो आप बाहर के प्रेशर कम करो, हाँ बाहर के प्रेशर कम करो। वो बाहर निकाल के घुमाना है। बाहर निकाल के घुमाना है। शिवराज जी, हाँ, बाहर निकाल। उल्टा उल्टा, एंटी ब्लॉक वाइज। एक बार। और इंच के घुमाओ। 
Stand by, Karun. Stand by. So the pelvic part is almost gone. This is lying in the calyx, so it is becoming a slightly difficult uh, to go into here. 
सामने के लिए ये भर दो
कवरिंग ट्रिम कर दो ऊपर जो दिख रहा है ना राशि कटा दो वो दिख रहा है हाँ हाँ उनको लगा एक्स्ट्रा राशि कटा देगा आठ सात आठ के
एक छोड़ो बाल्टी बाल्टी कुछ रख दो ये ये सब चेंज हो
आते हैं पानी प्रेशर से जो बाकी इसको भी आते हैं ये छोटे छोटे ये भी आने की सबसे बड़ी बात है Uh, there is something in the upper calyx 
uh, that can be easily removed. Uh, then the lower tail is there through major fragments. So let's see. Case for them, we have to do uh, in two stages or multiple tracks. Now you you the Ah, okay. Okay. I'm 
So this is the upper tension stone. This is the trick, right? Right, right, right. So you can distend this easily. Laser. Laser. Have we, have we, you seen this? Yeah. Laser fiber, please. Huh? Right, so. Stand on the hand. Come on. Up on the big guy. Right, the big stone. Come on. That was in the upper tension. Steady, sir. आगे करो ताकि मुझे आने जाने में दिक्कत ऐसा इसको आ इसको वापस बोल देना बोलना है पानी दबा देना
देख रहा हूँ ये सब निकल गया है पानी दबाओ ऊपर से पानी दबाओ पानी दबाओ अंकित कहाँ गया बेटा तुम कहाँ रहते हो बेटा चलिए हाँ? और और थोड़ा दबाओ बस बस सक्षम एक बार वापस हो अपन वापस हुई वाला स्टोर दे दी अभी ये बाइक उसको खोलना होता है इसको वापस ऐसे ब्लॉक नहीं कर देगा क्यों यदि बंद कर दे तब भी हो जाएगा ना यहाँ से हाँ हो जाना चाहिए बार बार इसको बंद करना थोड़ा पानी दबाना बेटा नहीं नहीं दबा दबा लाओ फॉर्सेट फॉर्सेट से दबा फॉर्सेट है दोनों फॉर्सेट है देख रहे डाल दिया नहीं अभी अपन आपने डाल
से फोन देते बेटा आप दो ना इधर तो पकड़ो इसको दूसरा यू बैग पकड़ लेंगे डेविड पीछे से मार के प्रेशर पीछे से पुश करो सेक्शन बंद करना बंद करना बेटा कितना बजा है ओके योर इज ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी ना क्या है फ्लाइट कब का है हाँ नहीं सही बात पानी दबा पानी दबा पानी वो बंद है बेटा 
एक चोन पक्का अच्छा है और ये सी एम बताओ कौन सी है यही है ये सी एम यही है यही करता है एक जन अरे लोकेंद्र जी बेटा एक जन कौन बुला लोगे यार बेटा कसम से यार तो फॉसिल फॉसिल तो और नीचे से कुछ करो नीचे से कुछ सक्षम ऑन करो और वो नीचे से एक दबाव पानी डालो एक में एरवे डालेगा और एक में एरवे नहीं डालेगा आई थिंक वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन स्टेज इट जो भी छोटा मोटा है थोड़ा सा ऊपर और पड़ा है और नीचे भी दो तीन पड़े हैं नीचे दो तीन है ऊपर हल्का सा कचरा है ठीक है सो वॉट विल डू इज वी विल पुट अ स्टैंड हियर एंड कम आउट राइट सो इसके थ्रू गाइड वाइड डाल दो बेटा नहीं उसके ऊपर क्या कर रहे हैं नहीं 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 ये उसके अंदर डाल दो आप तो When you suspect that there is an infection, <coughs> you want them to be good dressed for laughter because you cannot keep an infection for laughter. Right? So these two are. So the what we'll do is we will uh, remove those seat. small fragments in the next seating uh, because we have already passed one half. How many? Eight minutes or one and a half? One hour fifty minutes. So we'll put a stent here and put a small nephrostomy here so that we can just come in again uh, after two days. two different ways you put a guide wire take out the nephroscope and in the flora you put a dj stand of your choice right 
and if you want to do it under DA, uh, under reason, then then you have to have a bigger plus of course of 16 points. So we are a lot of things, we are seeing this here, uh, the guideline is going now, uh, the DJ has gone now, uh, uh, can you withdraw, the guy is keeping there. Uh, आपको बता दिया कैसे यूज करेगा अरे दूर से दूर से काटो दूर से काटो और इसको सेव कर लेना समझ गया now show the tone fragments. So suction and other so we can see all the fragments. We'll show it later. Gauze piece, we can give a gauze piece. No, no, no. Take out this. Take out this. Now you see. Can you see we have broken in a very small fragments. You can show from here. Any phone to show on Gospis? Right? So we can take out all this with the 21 French track with minimal time? So thank you, thank you everybody. So there are few small stones remaining which we will remove uh, after a couple of days. Thank you.